What's up YouTube, Mark Zar World, I hope everyone's having a nice weekend. So today I'm battling four different YouTubers, starting with RS Rickstar, in doubles, Red H. I'm going to be putting a lot of links to people's YouTubes in the description. Some YouTubers who I never battled, they'll realise why their name is in here probably after the first battle or as the battle goes along. All the timestamps to the battles will be in the description. Anyway, let's get this started. So, Mark Zard, aka Hakai, against Rickstar. Let's go. Okay, so Rickstar starts up with the Ursula and the Sneezer. I start with my Jordy VGC and my John Luke VGC. Jordy VGC, it's frisking them. Okay, got leftovers. Okay, so I set up Tailwind. And I use Eruption. Wow. I thought. Because bro's got grassy seed, I thought he was going to switch into Rillaboom and get the speed boost. That's why I did Tailwind. If I knew he wasn't going to switch into Rillaboom, I would have done Sunny Day and just tearing into fire. And I would have knocked out both of them. So my Jordy VGC and my John Luke VGC got knocked out instantly. King Gambit comes in. Alright, no priority moves is happening though. Let's go. Good thing I got Sneasel off the board. It's the main thing. So I use Hyper Voice for Lucian. Throat Spray's gonna activate now. Perfect. Alright, bring out my next victim. Let's go. Oh my god, so loser. It's our side Terra Arlo. Rickstar protects the King Gambit. I use Heat Wave. I don't think that's what terrifier on here though. Hopefully this Jesus. That, that, that's a that's did it. This this battle is gonna be a wow. That is a tank. Wow. Wow yo Body Yo, that is a tank. I hope you ain't got that what's it called? That move that increases its defense. Oh it's called. So I used Terrifier on King Gambit, I got that off the field. That probably had Sword Dance. Now, now I use Sunny Day with Lucy and most people are not expecting Ferreira to use Sunny Day. Ooh, he's probably hoping that he's gonna survive that turn. Or maybe to the storm. I don't know. So Ursula comes out. Hopefully his heat wave doesn't miss. Let's go. But us need a protect though. That's quite unfortunate. Since I imagine bro's gonna spam life you now. So I use hyper voice. Let's see how much this does. <laughs> that was nothing! Holy shoot! Wow! Hey this life this is starting to really annoy me man. I need to get that off the field. Bro literally turned into normal as well. Nah, get that off the field. You ain't starting. You ain't getting started. You're gonna come in here and, re and remain in neutral and get deleted. This Guja is a tank. That, you know that Guja just got an annually gym pass. Like, God damn. Nah, use Terror Blast. I'm not gonna get from this. Ooh, that must have been critical. It wasn't even a critical. Okay, it was a critical. A lot of damage. Yo! Come on, I've got to use Terror Blast again. Come on. One shot it from here. Let's go. Wow. That Guja was, it was hard to break its defense. Well, special defense. GG to Rickstar though. Anyway, let's get on to the next battle. Now I'm battling the chilled Marsco plays. I like Marsco, he's, he's quite chilled, man. Anyway, let's get this started. So what you got for me, Marsco? Oh, he's using the rental team. The Typhlone and the Winsnacot. 
Typing out Lucian and CD25. So I use Y guard. I'm expecting a heat wave or a rupture. Bro, it's a sunny day. I thought it was tell them as well. My observation hacking kicked in. So I had to make sure I use Y guard here. Okay. And just in case you try to do tri um, tailwind, I'm going to slow this down. Trick room. Perfect. So I use Y guard again. Ooh, bro did encore, not happening here, ain't no priority happening. Now nah, I use hyper voice. You never know sometimes, people test you in that sense, like they do a rupture and they're thinking, nah, you probably might not do it again, and then, then they do it again. So that's why I use white guard a second time. You never know. You never know if they're gonna switch out or they're gonna just think, yeah, he's probably gonna change. So now he switches out into Taurus. I think that's the water one. Wait, it could be fighting the water. Yeah, yeah, it is, it is. So I use Ice Spinner. I wasn't even meant to have Ice Spinner on CD25. I was meant to have um, Iron Defense. I had the wrong move. I even told Mask all this. But it worked itself out. So now Mask all brings out King Gambit. Taurus is practically in the upper room already. Wow, King Gabby went to the pearly gates instantly. And Taurus joined him in that bump bed. RIP. So his last Pokemon's Typhlosion. He's probably not gonna do the eruption now. So it's Choice Specs. I'm all thinking it's Choice Scarf. So I Terra CD25 into fire. Moscow Terra's Typhlosion into fire. I use Ice Spinner. I didn't think he was going to Terror as well. I just thought he just gave up. Wow. My observation hack, he failed me there. <laughs> I didn't. Like, I literally thought Marco just gave up. Because he knows I had wide guard. So why are you doing it again? But yeah, he's, he's not giving up. Gotta give credit where it's due, man. So now I use wide guard. Because <laughs> I already frisked him anyway. Jordy VGC frisked you already. Let's go. So you're locked into that white that um, eruption. You ain't doing nothing here. You're practically immobilized. All right. Just getting back some leftovers. Ah, this battle's over. Yeah. GG to Moscow. Now I'm up against Hellstone EQ. I will say Hellstone's probably in the, yeah, top three best YouTubers I've battled. Hellstone's battle IQ is very high. No doubt about that. Okay, so Hell starts out with the Amoongus and Palafin. I start with my John Luke VGC and my Jordy VGC. So I frisk them, Misky Water, Rocky Helmet. Interesting. I expected bro to switch. So Hell switched into Pelipper. Hopefully he doesn't have Y guard. And Terra the Moon goes into water. So I use fake tears. So now it's minus in special defense and I still can't take that. Hey Jordy VGC, I might have to release you man. Nah, you're, you're getting on my nerves now man. I mean, how did you, it's, bro, it's minus. Chill out. Okay, so I use Sunny Day and I Terra John Luke VGC into water. Does Tailwind, he switches out the Amoongus, brings in the Palafin. Sets up Tailwind. Now Hell protects. I protect as well. I had to switch out Jordy VGC. I use Fate Tears. Okay, that was a good protect. U turn. That was also a good protect on my end. <laughs> you ain't U turning. Okay, Hell's switching. Under the pressure. Hell's under pressure. Come on. Come on. Come on, High Dragon. Please, one shot. 
please one shot that Amingus. One shot it. Hi Dragon, you suck as well. Like I have to switch back into Jordy VGC. Are you Sunny D? Because I'm pretty certain that Bear Tick has the ability to swift swim. And you're trying to get that activated. See it there? Observation hacky kicked in. That's why I had to use it. I had to use Sunny Day again because you never know. Okay, that's probably life or choice band or something like that. I did a lot. Okay, so come back, John Lee VGC. Bring in the Lucian. Bro switches out into Amoongus. Okay, Jordy VGC still asleep. Wake up, man. Bro sets up Telwin. Come on, man. Wake up. Let's go, Jordy VGC. I apologize. I can't release you. You're a legend. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay, okay. Jordy VGC helped me out a lot. Perfect, perfect. Come on, Lucian. Let's go, Lucian. Take room. Remember, hell set up Telwin. Yeah, people might think that's weird. Why are you going to set up Trick Room and Jordy VGC's got the item Choice Scarf? No, it's not weird. It's not weird at all. Based off what I'm up against, his last two Pokemon definitely ain't weird. There you go, Hell Protects. Sunny Day. That's why it's not weird. Remember, they had the advantage. Even though um, Hell couldn't use priority, still would have the advantage. Because the um, the rain's out. That's why I did Trick Room Sunny Day. See? Look at the minimal damage it did to Lucian. I did a tiny bit, but Lucian held it down though. Throat spray's activated. Now it's held, 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 held on his last legs. Literally. Heat wave. Draw DVDC. I can't release you. Legend. Legend. Okay, GG to hell though, man. Okay, now we're on to the next battle. I'm battling Master Cooper Gaming. This is the first time I've battled this person. Never battled this person in my life. I've been trying so hard to battle him, man. It was, it was annoying. But anyway, we're here now. So, Cooper starts out with the Moongus, Grimsnarl. I've got the Annihilate and the Oranguru. So, oh, tried to use Thunder Wave on the Rangaroo. So instantly, I give a Moongus a Wings and a Halo. All right, get out of here, Moongus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now I set up Trick Room. Would have been a good idea to bring in, in, in Vili though, because bro's got priority. Okay, so Koopa switches into Metagross. I switch into the Torkoal. He used Thunder Wave on me, I Terra Talk onto Fire, and I use Eruption on the Moongus, I mean, Rooms now. What can the Moongus for? That perished already. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 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 you're finished, you're finished, you're finished, you're finished. And I used Instruct as well, but unfortunately, Metagross Protect, so nothing you can do there. All right, Koopa, who's the last Pokemon? You got for me. I, mean, I want to wrap this up quickly. Okay, two shiny Pokemon about to receive a funeral. So he tears into him. Right? Hmm? What are you up to? Oh, personally, I would have made it um, Terra normal and did extreme speed. That would have did more damage. But hey, that's me. Okay, so I use Eruption. Hopefully, they both got. And it's got focus that. Well, hopefully, I'm not paralyzed. You know. Yeah, RIP, Metagross. Let's go. Not paralyzed. This will stick the final nail in Cooper's Lucario's coffin. Yeah. RIP. Okay, um. Yeah. GG to Cooper and thanks for all the YouTubers who I battled as well and I hope everyone has an awesome weekend. See ya!